Hi there. Once again, it's your boy JC on this um, 1st of April 2021. And today I want to talk about what is happening right now all around the world. Many people are going out to celebrate Easter. But the question is, is Easter all about the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ? You are going to find out right now. Um, many of or, or many Christians or many people who believe in the Bible or many Catholics, Anglicans and all of that, they all go to um, to a pilgrimage, pilgrimage of Easter. I know here in South Africa there is the ZCC. They go to a pilgrimage and there will be almost 3 million. I don't know if they are going to go this year because of this uh, lockdown level. But this happens all around the world, everywhere. Is this all about Jesus? That is the question. Right. So I'm going to cite a few scriptures. But the first thing that I want you to understand is that if you go, just go and do a simple YouTube search or even a Google search, you know, some of these things you don't need to, 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 to break your head or to break a bank for you to get to research on these things and find out for yourself whether celebrating Easter is from God, right? The word Easter comes from the word Ishtar. It is mentioned in the Bible. And if you also go in the book of Jeremiah, it says that uh, this person called Ishtar, where different names was called the queen of heaven, the queen of heaven. And um, so where the origins of this, and I'm going to refer you to a message. If you're Shona speaking, um, just uh, get in touch with me on the number that is on the description box and uh, on WhatsApp, and then I'll send you the message. If you're Shona speaking, but if you are not a Shona speaking, please uh, get, um, get this. I'm going to do a part two and part three of this why I don't celebrate Easter. Um, this name Easter comes from the wife of Nimrod. After Noah, after the flood, we know that after the flood, Noah left the ark and he had three sons. He had Shem, Ham and Japheth. And from Ham, there was born uh, Canaan who was cursed by Noah on Genesis chapter 8, I think verse 22. And then Ham gave birth to Cush, and Cush gave birth to Nimrod. Go and check that in the Bible. And Nimrod was the one that Bible of the Tower of Babel. So Nimrod was the one where they initiated the worshipping of the sun. They are the ones who initiated the worshipping of the sun. So they are the ones who started the sun god and the moon god and the sun as an S-O-N god. So when this happened, um, Ish Ishtar was the wife of Nimrod, Semiramis, who is known in the Egyptian worship, was known in, in the Egyptian worship as Isis. And in the uh, Roman, the time of Jesus was known as Mitra. So that is the woman that you find standing in um, in those Roman Catholic churches, standing, holding a son. And that son is Tammuz, because they had one son. Tammuz is one that is celebrated on Christmas Day, because that's when he was born. That's when they were celebrating. It was a five-day celebration. Go and check out for yourself. Don't believe my word. Don't take my word for it. Go and check it out for yourself. So coming back to Easter. So Easter, uh, I'm just going to you know uh, focus much on that on the second uh, part of that because there's a lot of research and I'm going to bring you some of the videos um, on the next uh, uh, episode. But what I want you to understand is that before you go and celebrate Easter, is it, it's not about Jesus. Um, one of you might say, but it's there, it's written in the Bible that um, we should remember the death and the resurrection of Jesus. Uh, when Jesus was doing the Last Supper with the disciples. Is that true? No, it's not true. We can do the communion of the Lord's Supper when we break bread and drink wine. With um, We can do that. Uh, we can do that even every day. Uh, we can do often. 
the Bible says you can do it as often as you want. If you read the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 from verse 23, do this as often as you remember uh, the, the suffering of Christ. So it's not something that you peg a debt. And I want you to notice one thing. So I've spoken about what Easter is all about. It is about the woman, her name was Ishtar, um, Isis, or Mitra, and also they share different names, Ashtoreth, Venus, and all are these other names. Queen of Heaven, according to Jeremiah chapter 9, shows you that this had nothing to do with the Bible, with, with, uh, with, uh, with Jesus. It was a celebration that used to happen way, 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 I mean, 3,000 years plus before Jesus came to, to on earth. So, so this means that it has nothing to do with Jesus. If you are celebrating it, it's an abomination and you are not remembering the death and the resurrection of Christ. And one thing that you should not, and I'm going to cite the other scriptures on the second episode of this, because I don't want this to be long. I want you to get me. Until Easter is finished, I'm going to be doing this and I'm going to be bring in some videos and then on the last day which probably is on this on sunday when people are saying this is the resurrection sunday uh, i'm going to do a video maybe on the evening with somebody who will be looking at this and you know uh bringing in all the research that would have done but just brace up for that so as i conclude uh, on this episode what i want you to understand is that haven't you asked yourself, why is it the Easter changes its days each and every year? If you and I had a birthday, um, I want to give you examples. We have the day, what we call Mandela Day, uh, which is his birthday, which is 18th of July here in South Africa. There is um, a day when he died, which is the 13th of December, uh, 2013. Um, all these days they are the same day they don't change each and every year they are just the same so why is it easter changes dates each and every year just like ramadan even you ask yourself that if easter is all about jesus then it has to be done on the day that jesus died and on the day that he resurrected it should not change, change, change days. If we say we know when it happened, it should not change days, it should not change years. Some will say um, uh, it is about Passover that was celebrated uh, by the Jews when the law was in enacted. I've got a shocker for you on the next episode, but I'm just going to give you a glimpse. Jesus, I mean, Paul said, in the book of, uh, of Corinthians that Jesus is our Passover. So if you are saying we are going to celebrate uh, the Passover, what about the scripture that says Jesus is our Passover? That is the question for you as you wait for the next episode tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, share this video and follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram and I'll see you again, God willing, on this channel again this is your boy once again reminding you that rise up africa the world is waiting for you thank you for watching